my deepest desire has always been to read the Word of God, but then you read it, and sometimes there's this fear that, that comes over you. You read something and you're like, oh my gosh, he did that. Like he could probably do that in my life or like the audacity or some of the stories really are just terrifying. Have you ever felt like God is unpredictable, chaotic, sporadic in his rule as Lord over your life? Like you could not possibly know him, much less grow in the wisdom of how he rules. There was a point when I was getting so confused because everyone was talking about the kingdom, but I couldn't picture myself in that because I didn't understand the established way. The Lord said to me, Diana, in order for there to be a kingdom, there has to be a king. In order for there to be a king, there has to be a rule. In order for there to be a rule, there has to be an established government. What does that look like? I was taking a shower one day and the Lord said to me, Diana, my children do not feel safe in relationship with me. He was including me in this when he said my children. He said they think I have no rule, so they don't know what to expect from me. We've heard things like there are no limits to God and he can do whatever he wants to do. And that's true. But then where does that leave the occupants of the city? It leaves his children feeling very unsafe when it comes to the wisdom of God and how his government rules in our life. He said they are unable to rest because they do not understand how I govern in their life. And in your mind, you think I can do whatever I want, whenever I want but it leaves you feeling like I am unpredictable and full of chaos. I kind of sat there for a second, like, how did he know I thought that? (laughs) You know, you have those thoughts and you're like, wait, he's telling me what I already know, but was afraid to say out loud. It would be like the people in a kingdom loving their king, but being afraid of him because his anger knows no bounds and that he can change his mind based on his mood for the day, leaving the occupants of the city living in constant stress. He said, Diana, in order to thrive in the kingdom, you must understand how I govern. You must understand my established way. I sat down and wrote in my notebook, what is the government of God? How does he rule? What does his kingdom look like? He said, Diana, my government is hidden in the instructions of Jesus. Everything Jesus said is the government of God. It is how I rule. So you can rest in what was spoken. He wasn't just telling us what to do. He was telling us how he rules, how he governs. There's examples like forgive 70 times seven. He said, Dion, I wasn't telling you to do that. I was telling you what I do. You now have an example to live by. He says things like the kingdom of God is at hand. It is present, it is active. This new established way under this new covenant, it reigns. He says, if you've seen me, you've seen the father. It's how we rule. This new established way under the blood of Jesus, this new covenant, this is the kingdom. He lived by example and taught us what he himself has already done and actively does. He said, Diana, there's safety and security in what was spoken.